Hello guys, welcome to the next episode of the series and today we're shifting into a higher gear. We will finish painting the camouflage on the tank top and we will apply filters on the clothes. We paint the jungle camo tank top but the color range is a bit different here in the version of the film that I used as a reference. I think, um, yeah, I like it slightly more. So the jungle camouflage is also something like sea blue, I mean more blue tones, um, yeah.
as the base color is ready now we'll try to weather those clothes a little bit so they are not look so fresh new and clean our hero spent several days in south american jungle in the scorching sun so it must be also be visible on the uniform We use filters based on oil paints from Abteilung 502. We're gonna apply them asymmetrical and also very random to obtain variety of shades in this pattern. Oil paints need only be diluted a little bit more with white spirit to achieve this very nice and smooth delicate uh, um, filter effect. And remember, we can always remove the access filter with just a clean brush.
okay uh, time to fix some details and we're gonna paint uh, seams and stripes on pants and vest uh, we will try to recreate this delicate structure of the material by dry brushing
Major's vest was brown at the beginning of the movie, I remember, and then uh, due to the sweat and moisture and temperature, it became more dark. Some places even uh, black. And that's why we will cover the entire vest with highly diluted brown wash. Some places there were visible also delicate white grey stains, probably from sweat, and we're gonna try also to emphasize this slightly. Frag grenades. Major Dutch use um, M67 model, I think. They came in multicolor variations, but the most popular was olive. And I will also paint our frags like this. In the AK third generation palette, a color very close to olive is Russian grey. And I like this color a lot uh, and it's a bit lighter now, but I will add later a touch of dark green filter. To finish the upper body we will paint the metallic elements delicate scrapping with gunmetal and aluminum paint from ammo. Before we finish for today, we will color Arnold's hair 
Gelb Brown and Chocolate Brown are the colors we will use here. I have to admit at the first layer the hair looks mm, slightly orange yellow but the second layer and wash will give a nice balance and hair should look natural. We will paint our eyebrows with the same color combination. The next step will be darkening the hair and beard. An excellent product for this task is panel liner from Tamiya. Uh, but first, as we have this product on the table, let's get back to our vest for a moment. It turned out very natural and I can't wait to finish painting this face. 
but uh, that will be next week and also we'll paint the shoes, weapons, hands and actually I think there is a big chance to finish this model so don't forget to come back here next week. See ya!